Okay, hi guys. Uh, just a little update. Um, remember this? Remember I measured the uh, power required for the prime mover to move with coils installed and without coils. Well, I reorganized my my coils. You know, in a equal manner. And uh, guess what? It's much better now. So at 360, we measured before. At 360, I measured before without coils. It was 55 watt required for the prime mover. And this is without, and this is with 86 with 572 at 684. Now, without it was 55 without the coils installed. So, now with the coils, coils installed is 56, which is very good. 360. Now we're gonna go to 500. This is supposed to read 68. I mean, supposed to read 72, right? With coils. So let's see. This 500 and reading 70 which is a bit less than before and close to without coils which is very good now we're gonna go to 600 it's supposed to be 84 with coils It's reading 81, which is an improvement, improvement, 81, which is close to 78, which without. So we're going to connect our coils now and try to do our tests now because it's uh, with on or without the cores are very close results, which uh, what uh, Luke Shakate uh, 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 suggested to do first before uh, doing any further uh, uh, power measurement. Hi guys, okay, uh, just a little uh, update on my uh, generator. Uh, what I did is uh, I adjusted mechanically the coils to get the same uh, input power needed by the motor to move these magnets and uh, so uh, there is no uh, consumption mechanically or magnetic to the core right now as this setup is. So with, with no load, whatever you see here is the same as no load, uh, no cores installed, which is very good. Uh, now I'm gonna show you what I have. I, as we, I saw before on the video, I have some um, resonance uh, frequency and speed, which I have the maximum power. I know it's not the best uh, way to do it, but that's what I have right now is with capacitor. So because of the coils and all these coils, I have uh, like five coils and uh, there's two opposite each other and another two here. And uh, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So 
four are opposing each other and one extra there, I find it helps to kick, uh, to help the, the motor turn. Somehow it, uh, it helps. Now, uh, what I'm getting is at 360 RPM, which is very low uh, RPM, I'm getting 147 volts with four capacitors in series, 60 microfarad, so that can be only one in parallel with like uh, 60, 15, 15 microfarad. And that's what I have right now. This little screen will show you the frequency. Right now I have 85 hertz as frequency and 143 volts. And the power needed to move the cores or the motor with the magnet and the cores installed is 76 watt. Now I'm gonna put the load on, which is 60 watt. I'm gonna put it on and see what happens. So I got 86 volts, so it dropped the 143 to 86, and the amps are 0.43. I have 37 watts, which is the 86 multiplied by the 43, 0.43 uh, amps, and the frequency 85. Um, and uh, okay, so I'm gaining 37 watts. Now I had the power, the input power increased to 105. So 105 minus the power before the cores, uh, before the load, is 76. So I have 25 plus 5 is 30. And I'm producing right now 37. So output is more than input. That's what I see. Uh, I would like to uh, see your opinion on that. So I'm putting uh, less than what I'm getting out. And this is, uh, the way I done it here is two coils in series, actually four coils. Two of them are in series and then they connect it in parallel. So, that's what I have right now. Thanks.